Okay, ready for feeding. So this is a version of evening feeding. You need to look at the morning versus evening, but uh, there's all, there's just a few differences. So this is the glass uh, measuring cup I use. I fill up, uh, fill it up with water and microwave it for one minute just to make it um, so that I can pour it over certain dog's food. I pour a little over reds, pinkies, um, and some on Dorgies and birdies because they, uh, and it's all in the chart, it helps them because they have some tooth issues. So with Red, he gets a cup and a half dry food in this bin. There's a cup in the thing. And after you pour it in, he always gets a scoop of Jolly Joints, okay? And one of these hemp mobilities at each meal. But at dinner time, he gets one Galloprant and it says Red, okay? These are the large Galloprant, it's for his arthritis. You wanna pull it, put it in a pill pocket cover it completely up and then make sure that it's submerged. That's one of his chewies, but make sure it's submerged in the soft food because Red is really smart. He knows there's a pill in there, but if it's in there, he eats that before he realizes he has had his pill. Pinky, she gets a gabapentin. It's a white pill, it says gabapentin for pain for breakfast and dinner. And she gets a half of one of these. They're already broken up at dinner time only. And I just stick them in her wet food. You know, you don't have to use a pill pocket for her. Then little girl or uh, Emmy, the foster dog. Her right there. She is on two meds because she hurt her leg. So she also gets a dollop of Jolly Joints and then for breakfast and dinner, she gets a half of one of these. It is called Rimadil for pain. It's already broken up. And then at dinner, she just gets one of these. So it's a chewy. It's all on the chart. Then everybody else, Dorji, he gets a little Jolly Joints and a chewy at each meal. Um, and then Birdie just gets wet, wet food. Sprocky just gets dry food. And Posey you won't be feeding her. So now I'm gonna put their, their bowls down. So what I do first is I'm gonna go ahead and give the foster girl hers. Hey, Emmy, Emmy, come on. And I put it in the crate and then she's really good already. Just lock her in there, okay. Then next, I give Pinky her food. She likes to eat on the red bench. Birdie usually is right next to her. And then Dorji. Georgie always eats on this gray thing, and you should probably push it over. He tends to spill. You won't be feeding Posey, so ignore that. Then Sprocky gets his food over there. And then Red, I put outside. Now, normally I put the dog door down here because that way it gives him more privacy. He doesn't like to, he's a slow eater. So then you put Red's food there. Go on, Red, have your dinner. Go on, eat, eat. And you can be real sweet and give him some encouragement and then just leave him alone. So he eats slowly. And what I normally do is as they finish, I pick up their bowls, okay? And then immediately they like to go outside and poo and pee. So what you can do here is just wait until Red is closer to being done, either by watching here, or you can go into the laundry room and look out that window there. Um, the other thing is to make sure to open this back up. Georgie sometimes tumps his bowl, so I usually put it in the corner. I push this bench over and push it in the corner. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So the morning and the evening feeding is similar except for the medications that they get, and that'll be on the chart. I'll also label each bucket reds, pinkies, and um, Emmy's, the little foster girl, so that it'll be more clearly labeled. And I'll have a printout of the chart up here for you to follow along. There will should be more dry food coming from Chewy, so just watch for that box. And it's two different kinds. I just pour them in and mix them together. There should also be more um, Jolly Joints coming from Amazon, so that should be a delivery. It's an automatic shipment. And that's about it. Okay, here, I'm going to open the door, and they all are pretty respectful, except what will happen is if Dorji goes out when Red's, before Red is done, 
he'll kind of harass Red and want to eat out of his bowl. So that's why I usually wait until Red's more done. And the thing with Dorji is, if you try to pull him away, remember he's an old grumpy dog, so he'll get mad. So this is why I usually leave the door shut <laughs> until Red is done. And I just open and peek through this window. But it's key not to forget to open that, which I have done because I'm like, oh, they're all done. And then I forget to open that. And it's a problem later when they're all locked in the house and they, or they can't get in or out. So FYI, pretty, pretty, not too difficult.